Hi everyone, the Island Stacker here. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today, you can probably tell what I'm going to unbox based on the big black box in the background. So this will be the unicorn coin in the Royal Trudis Beast series. Before we get to the unboxing, I'd just like to say thank you very much for everyone that supported the last video. Um, it got a lot of traction, which I appreciate. Uh, so it helps small channels like mine. So thank you very much. Now, let's have a look at this. So this coin's been out for a while. It's taken a few weeks before these get to get dispatched. And based on the packaging label on here, these have been ready or up, boxed up since the 2nd or the 6th of September. So hopefully with the, the longer lead time in these getting released, I'm hopeful that there has been additional quality control checks that have been put in place for these. It's quite a tight seal on that box. So let's get the coin out itself. So standard Royal Mint box for these, this series. See the color colorized design of the unicorn there on the front. See more unicorn 2024. So this will be, I think, my first 2024 coin. So it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. I believe the the unicorn was the unicorn of Scotland last time. So obviously slightly different from the Queen's Bee series in that regard. So we'll just get the box out itself. So I'll have a quick flick through the booklet. Feel free to stop and have a read through any of these pages as we go through. Just more of the similar sort of background and history of the various different designs. This one's obviously around Henry VIII as a boy there. The unicorn itself. And then the designer of the coin relief and then a little breakdown of what each part of the anatomy on the coin itself is. So I did notice with the mintage figures for these that these are slightly higher than the Bull of Clarence coin. So I think this came out with 5,000. I believe this is 5,500, which I'm surprised at because there is still some of these earlier coins that are available. So I'm not sure why the mintage is slightly higher for this one. I'm not sure if they're anticipating that people will potentially buy this one more based on the design. But so COA 1133, so not particularly high, but not particularly low either. So yeah, that's the 5,500. It's a quite a large difference in the additional mintage figures. So the way that the Royal Mint's been going at the moment, I expect I after this has been re finished and all 10 coins have come out, I'd expect to see a similar sort of presentation that, that the Royal Mint have put together themselves based on that those higher additional numbers. So here we have it, the Unicorn. I have to say it's probably one of the nicer designs out of the four that I have already. Just have a quick close look at the coin. Doesn't look like there's any major breaks or anything that I can see. I'll have a, just like to move that. So there's these little white particles that you can see here that's just moving as I twist the capsule. So those are obviously on the capsule rather than the coin itself. But yeah, definitely prefer the design more so than some of these other coins, but still, got a very odd pose and position um, in my eyes compared to what we saw in the Royal Beasts, or the Queen's Beasts, sorry, not the Royal Beasts. But yeah, let me know what you think of the design down below. I know some people have been cancelling their subscription orders for this series based on the continuing sort of price increase from the mint. And just the capsule doesn't seem to be wanting to stay tight properly. Um, so yeah, as I said, 2024, I'm not sure what the cutoff is for when 2024 coins start coming out as opposed to being minted with the 2023. So obviously the, the ball came out about a month or two ago. So I'm not sure if we're likely to see any more before the end of the year. I know that they're such like the Star Wars coins. I think there's another one coming out before the end of the year. So that'll be four out of the far, uh, 
three out of the four, sorry, uh, within the last six months of the year. So I don't know how quickly they're going to get these out because I know there's not many of the bullion versions of these out at the moment. So yeah, there'll be a plethora of those at some point, no doubt. Again, just don't think it's on the coin, but now that, now I've tightened the capsule, I can't unloosen it now to check that check that that bit of dust is. Yeah, it looks like they're all on the capsule. Like I say, I'll have a look under the the magnifier a bit off off camera just to have a closer look, just to make sure that it's all in perfect order, and then I'll pop it into the box with the other four. So that's just a quick look at the Seymour Unicorn. Let me know your thoughts on the design. I know. Let me know if you've been cancelled, if you've cancelled your your series order, or if you're continuing. I think I'll continue until this series is up, and then I'm going to try and take a break from these coins because they're for the for the actual metal content. They're extremely expensive, but I know the raw mint's only going to put the prices up even more. So after this, I'm probably going to try and take a break from these high, these high premium silver proofs. But Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one.